Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to build a minecart with storage system that is only one wide and expandable. So you see right here inside my chest, I have an iron ingot, but if I click this button, it will cycle down through to the next chest, and this one will have an emerald. The next chest will have another item. I believe this one's going to be diamonds, yes. So if every time I click this button, this minecart's going to be pushed over and then shot back up top with this piston pushing it back over. So click the button, and as you can see, it gets shot up top and then pushed back over. It's very simple to make. And then, of course, it is also very expandable. So here is the expanded version. Now, if you are going to make the expanded version, I highly recommend just putting one set of items in each one or you're going to lose all of your items. So we click the button. As you can see, it works just the same way. It will rotate through the minecarts with chess. And then, of course, we can also just rapidly click every single button if we want to. However, guys, like any redstone creation, you can break it. So just be careful. So let's go ahead and start building this thing. For this build, you're going to need a one by six spacing and you're also going to have to dig down five now that red stained clay down there is where your wall is going to be and also the extra room is just for when i show how to expand it out towards the end of the video now the resources you're going to need for this build are two sticky pistons two regular pistons one redstone repeater five redstone torches two redstone dust one button one slime block one immovable object i'm going to be using obsidian but i highly recommend using furnaces we are also going to need one fence at least three minecarts with chests but i highly recommend using seven as well that's the most you can have on this thing and we're also going to need two powered rails and one slab so once you have your one by six spacing you've dug down your five and have gathered all of your resources come to the bottom right here and we're going to place a torch off this back side then we're going to place a piece of redstone coming out of our torch place a slab upside down right here with another piece of redstone on top of it. Then in front of this slab, we're going to place a sticky piston facing upwards. It should extend out. And then what I want you to do is break this block right here and break the block next to your sticky piston as well. Then right on top of your sticky piston, we're going to place down our slime block. That is the reason why we had to break out those two blocks. Next, place a block next to your sticky piston with a repeater coming out of it on two ticks delay next up place a block in front of your redstone repeater and now we're going to go four redstone torches up in a big tower so place a redstone torch on top of this block then place a block above the redstone torch then a torch above the block then a block above the torch like this then a torch above the block and then a block above the torch and one last time place another torch and there should be a total of four torches going up in a big tower next up place one more block above this off torch right here with a regular piston coming out of this block like that then we're going to swing back down here and right next to your slime block is where we're going to be placing in our immovable object. So I'm going to place my obsidian right here and then take out your normal blocks and we're going to come all the way up until we reach that piston. So go all the way up in a big line until you reach your piston. Next up, we're going to go ahead and put in our button. So right here in this corner is where our button's going to be. But if you do not know, it's just four blocks above the redstone torch. So one, two, three and four place a block here with a button on the block next up place a regular piston coming out from the side of the block so when i click the button as you can see the piston will extend out and then right underneath your piston place in a sticky piston facing downwards with a block in front of it so when i click the button they should both extend out and it should also activate everything so click the button and as you can see everything gets activated then place a block right on top of your piston another block up break this block and then bring it up until it's right flush with your regular piston and that is it guys we are almost done so right here next to the slime block place down another block place a fence on top of it and then break the block and that is it guys you are completely done all we have to do now is just put in our minecarts with chests so to place in your minecarts with chests what we're going to do is come up at least two more blocks here one two and then we're going to place three blocks from here so one two and three place a redstone torch off the backhand side or anything to send power to it and then place in two powered rails like this the reason why i'm telling you to place in two is just because when you're snapping together in different directions sometimes they'll snap the opposite way going that way and it won't work so we have to have at least two rails next up take out your minecarts with chests now i'm going to be putting in all seven place in your minecart with a chest and then just push it and it should fall all the way down until it hits that fence so boop and do it seven times so one two three four five six and seven just like that now all we have to do is just break our rails break this right here and we no longer need these blocks as well and that is it guys you are completely done so when i click the button it gets pushed over and then gets shot back up top and we can rapidly click it too it will not break and see i can just keep clicking it and it will not break and it will just keep moving the minecarts with the chest on top of the other one so now i'm going to show you how to expand it out so to expand it out is quite simple we're going to come down to this slime block right here and come out at least 12 blocks so count this one first one two three four five six seven eight 
9, 10, 11, and 12. Make sure it does not connect to any other blocks on this side. So we're going to have to break out these two blocks and these blocks right here. So break out just at least three blocks like this. So next, what we're going to do is come back over here and where our fence post is, we're going to take out our fence post and just bring it all along our slime blocks. So just bring it all the way down along the line of your slime blocks till you reach the end like this. So it be, should be a total of 12 blocks, guys. It should be a total of 12 blocks or it won't work. So if I click the button, as you see, it goes down and then pops back up. But there's one more block on that. It will not work. Next up, take out your normal pistons, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Just bring it all the way down the line of slime blocks and fences until you reach the end, just like this. Once you have your regular pistons in, come back over here to where your button is, and instead of putting a line of sticky pistons facing downwards, instead we're going to put a block right next to the sticky piston, and then just bring a row of blocks coming all the way down into the end. So bring them all the way down to the end, and then put redstone dust on top of all of your blocks. Then we're going to go ahead and put blocks right above our redstone. And then we're going to place buttons along every single one of these blocks. So place buttons all along them. So now no matter where you click this thing, it will make it work. So if I click it here, as you see, it will cycle it through. And now there's one more thing we need to do. And that is to change out of this piston with a sticky piston. So what you're going to have to do is just come out one more block right here. Break these two like this. And next up, take out a sticky piston instead of a regular piston. And face it inwards with a slime block in front of it. Now we can't have a regular block here anymore because of this slime block. So you're going to have to remove this block and place in an immovable object here. I'm going to be using obsidian. And I'm just going to place one more above it as well. And then we're just going to come out 12 blocks like we did down there. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, just like that. And now last but not least, all we have to do is just make this big wall right back here. So come where your movable object is and come down with all immovable objects all the way down this line of slime blocks. And then we're gonna break, take out our normal blocks and just place them going all the way to the top until we reach our next immovable objects. So you know what, let's go ahead and just put our next immovable object in. So just bring it around your whole line and then go ahead and just fill in this entire wall with your normal blocks. Once you have your wall filled in, come over here. Now we're going to fill in this wall as well. So just take out your blocks of choice. Once again, that you're going to be using on your build and just place them all the way down to the end. There we go. And we're going to do this two more times. Now, all that's left to do is just put in the rest of our mine carts with chests. So just like we did the last time, we're going to have to come up at least two blocks right here. And then we're going to have to come out three blocks here. One, two, and three inwards like that. So one, two, three above that slime block. Place in your two power rails, send power to them, and then just keep pushing your minecarts in until you have at least seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Go ahead and break these blocks. Go ahead and pick up your rails and this, and we're going to do that on every single one. So you know, I'm just going to go ahead and put obsidian down the entire row right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and just skip through the video. You're going to have to do that on every single row, guys. You're going to have to come up two blocks like this, and then you have to at least place three blocks here, one, two, and three. Send power to the back, put two powered rails, and then just keep pushing in your mine carts with chests until you have at least seven. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Break your two rails, break this block, go ahead and get your torch and everything back, and then do that on every single line. But there you guys have it. That should be everything. So when I click this button right here, it will swap the minecarts with chests. And then I can also go ahead and rapidly click it if I really want to. Let me go ahead and just click a bunch of them like this. There we go. And then they should all get popped back up to the top no matter how many times you click them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And... Ooh, and they all get pushed back over. So there you guys have it. That is how you build a minecart with chest storage system that is only one wide and expandable. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.